Okay, for my first five minutes segment, I thought I would design a textural sign-in page for the flush mount type albums. The end result, which you are currently looking at. So we'll hide that. I've got this 10 by 10 blank canvas at 300 dpi. And I've got a texture file right here, which I just got from a one of the many stock photography sites on the net, but you can also find something with a great texture and make your own digital file out of it. And since this is sized the same as my canvas, when I select the Move tool, I'm going to hold Shift, and when I drag it over, it'll, it'll line it up exactly in the correct spot. And I've got my image here, and I want I want this image to sort of match, at least in the t tone wise, and sort of brown, like deep browns here. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this to sepia. First, I'm going to convert it to black and white. Set my swatches to default. Just use the gradient map method. Merge those. Go up to image, down to adjustments and variations. And then two clicks, red and yellow. Now I've got a sepia. Then I'm going to drag that on top of the canvas as well. And I'll convert that to a smart object, just so I can transform it as many times as I want, even though I only really need to transform it this one time. But it's a good habit to get into. Now I want this texture to come through, and I want this to sort of fade out a little bit. So I'm going to change the opac or the uh, blend mode rather to multiply, and lower the opacity to about 75%. I need to add a layer mask. I'm going to choose a rather large brush. Get rid of some of these edges here. And then lower the opacity of my brush to so get more of a subtle effect around here, like so. Now we need an area for people to write in, so I'm going to take this rectangular marquee tool, create a section here, and with the eyedropper I'm going to sample one of these sort of rust or light rust colors in here on a new layer. I'm going to feather this selection by going down to Refine Edge. With my feather I actually like 160, hit OK. Now when I fill this with my foreground color by pressing Alt and Backspace, I now have this nice feathered section here. All that's left is to add some text. I'm going to sample one of these darker colors in here. And I'm using the French script font, something that kind of matches the theme here. And I want this to be around 48 looks good. And I'm putting these on separate layers so that I can kind of play around with the typography and design around the type here. And for the ampersand, that I'm going to make rather large and drag that underneath these two text layers here and then lower the opacity. And then that will give us this nice artsy type textural sign-in page. Of course this design is all about form and not so much function having such a small area to sign in but hey Sometimes it's all about artistic expression and adding texture to some of your work, especially in your flush mount album pages, will just make your work stand out a little bit more.